Dr. Alan Gavick, CEO of Cell Science. I like to come to you occasionally and talk to you about different technologies and new things that are happening in the market. But today I'm honored to have with me Dr. John Young from Largo, Florida. John has been using our stem cells since April of 2016, and he's got some really interesting things to talk about. John, tell me, how did you come to using these stem cells? Well, I'd heard about stem cells and I wasn't real excited. Um, some of my patients, and I, I serve a more of an older population, and they had some serious uh, lung diseases. So I sent them over to Tampa, where they take your own bone marrow or your fat tissue and then use those cells, those stem cells, and put them in them. And they're supposed to regenerate the lungs and things like that. And all I found was that my patients were usually lighter in the wallet. <laughs> no one really got better. And so I'm like, eh, I don't know about this. So when a good friend of yours came by the office one day and said, I want you to think about selling stem cells, I'm like, you know, I've already tried it on patients, it, it's not working, I, I'm just not interested. And he said, no, these are different, these are umbilical cord, so the first thing I asked, are there any dead babies involved, being right. a strong Christian, no, so exactly. I said, okay, that's good. So I said, you know what, I have messed my knee up, and I play tons of tennis. Uh, that's my Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when I'm off, uh, five to six hours a day and I couldn't play for a couple months. So I said, all right, I don't want you to give me anything. I'm gonna buy the cells. I will put it in my knee and then come back in about a month. So I put them in my knee and um, the first week or so, I was kind of like, oh boy, I hope these things work. <laughs> and now prior to this, I'd done an MRI and I had four meniscal tears, some bone on bone and arthritis. So. Uh, I noticed that after about three weeks, the knee didn't catch. Or when you stand up, you have to kind of adjust your knee to walk. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to do that anymore. To make a long story short, after 90 days from injection, I basically had a new knee. Wow. In fact, one of the uh, guys I play who also played at college tennis said this, John, you drive me crazy. You're faster now than you were when we first started playing five years ago. So basically, I rebuilt the knee with these umbilical cord stem cells. So that was the confidence that gave you, that you had the ability then to offer it to your patients? Right, well, first of all, my patients saw me for several months hobbling around the clinic. And all of a sudden they see that I'm not hobbling anymore. So they're asking, what'd you do? Well, I did umbilical cord stem cells. And I have a very loyal population of patients. Yes. So the next thing I know, they're saying, well, you know, I've got the same thing with my knee. So we started doing knees, and shoulders and arthritic backs and herniated discs. And we just got very, very good results. But what's interesting is I'm a little different in my practice. Uh, someone called me the Dr. House of Pinellas County. In other words, the patients that doctors can't get better, they send them to me. And so I really have to figure out how can I get them better? And I found that this was a great tool in my armamentarium that we can do this, this, and this. If you're not better, there's kind of a ace that we can try. But I think that's critical because it's not just a singular component to practicing medicine. Nothing is a panacea, right? You're working the entire components of medicine in order to figure out the problem and then use everything in your arsenal in order to make it better. And I think a great example is I, Parkinson's disease. I hate that disease because all you're doing is you're giving them more and more medicine, it loses its effectiveness after a while, so you go to the stronger medications, then they always have side effects, and you just kind of watch them fairly quickly just go down the tubes. So what I will do, uh, because I'm very interested in Parkinson's, is I will take that patient and I'm gonna lay a foundation. Whether you come in with diabetes, or I just wanna stay healthy, or Parkinson's, I lay a foundation, and I wanna make sure I have a good cell membrane, a good immune system. Most of my patients are very low on protein, so I really increase their protein. We have a shake that we put them on. Uh, with Parkinson's, I wanna check lithium levels because without lithium, you cannot make dopamine. Very key here. Exactly. So I, and I'll even do some genetic testing. And I will take them, and if we do not get to where they wanna be, then I will say, okay, let's try umbilical cord stem cells. And I'm gonna tell you, it is just amazing. 
I remember uh, we had a fella who um, came down from St. Louis and uh, Parkinson's with the walker, hard to understand him, drooling. Uh, he was a mess and he wasn't very sharp mentally. Right. And the you know, wife was saying he's just going downhill fast. And the doctors are just saying, well, we could increase his medication. You know, well, we've already done that and then he falls apart completely. So we gave him his stem cells. And about four weeks later, we get a call. He's not on his walker. He stopped his shuffling. His mind has come back. He's not drooling. You can understand him completely. And his tremor is 80% gone. How does that make you feel as a physician? Well, first of all, it does make your day. <laughs> and it makes you realize, wait, <clears throat> this passing of these drugs all the time, all we're doing is slowing their progress to death. And realize that, yes, even in these serious diseases, you can reverse that. And I did it with another lady. And it's very interesting. When I examine her now, I cannot find any signs of Parkinson's in her. It's amazing, and it's not the only story that we have. I uh, really thank you for coming and seeing us today. And Dr. John Young, I hope to talk to you again. Thank you. You will. Thanks.